Hello folks, it's Rich here. What day is it today? It's new guitar day, yes it is. New second hand guitar day, but it's still new to me. It's still new guitar day. So for those who don't know me, I'm just a beginnery novice kind of fella who just buys guitars. Guitar number 136. Yep, that's just the way it is. There's a playlist of guitar reviews. Feel free to go and have a look if you'd like to. So, why have I got another Chapman? I've got a bit of a love affair with Chapman guitars, haven't I? From someone who absolutely hated reverse headstocks once upon a time, to now somewhere between clearly not bothered, otherwise I wouldn't have one, to maybe I even like it. Weird, eh? But, you get an awful lot of guitar for your money. And hello Chapman Guitars, who very kindly responded to my uh, video on the ML3 P90. And I've had a couple of little messages back. <laughs> like a star! Chapman talking directly to me. Anyway, shush, Rich, shush. Shush, shush, shush. Look at the how shiny to see the camera, my well, phone. So this is an ML1. They stopped making these a while ago, which is a shame. I did ask them, are you going to do a three single coil ML1 again? Nothing in the pipeline. <laughs> so. This one's it. Swamp, uh, so, uh, it's got an ash body this has with an ash veneer on the top. I, I love these brass saddles, which don't feature on any of their new guitars as far as I'm aware. Certainly none of the ones I've had. Maple neck, graphite nut, this is this kind of standard with Chapman's. A very familiar feeling neck. This is like a slightly slimmer feeling Mexican Fender strap. That's how I describe this. Just like this, uh, you feel at home. It's got a, it's got just a nice shine to it, so it's it's not unfinished like you might get on some Ibanez's, is 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 Ibanez, as Agafish would say, or a cheap uh, squire. So it's not unfinished, but it's silky smooth, slightly rolled fingerboard. Another Chapman feature. This one's used. The frets are reasonably polished. But all the Chapman's I've had have been like that anyway, so I'm guessing it was probably like that from the get-go. You also get nice clicky switches on Chapman guitars. Clickety-clicky and good feeling knobs. They're not too stiff, they're not too not stiff. They just feel smooth. Two-point trem. This one is locked down. I'm gonna keep it like that, actually. I'm not really a trem man, am I? I've had a dabble, if any of you have seen my videos before. It's not really my thing. I can barely play guitar, let alone do a trem-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o-o
Yeah, that's what it's about. It's got about half, a, sort of half to three quarters of the turn. So my Vox AD15 amp, all clean, no nothing on it. Slightly out of tune. That's just how I roll. This unplugged and it resonates. It just rings and rings and rings. This is a heavy pick. I'm going to pick this one up. This is a medium pick. Uh, middle position. And in the middle, we are home cancelling in two and four. And the bridge itself. And one of the things I like about this is obviously the volume just go up a little bit when you go to the bridge, but it's not like a massive boost. It's nice, they seem, they seem well balanced. Might be the heights of them, someone's got that right. They all go about the same actually. But... Do do. What string can I hear that doesn't feel right? Tuna tune. Is it the G string? It's always a G string, isn't it? No. E, oh, high E a little bit. Oh, it's just my ears. Uh, anyway. Let's put the crunch pedal on. No crunch. See what this, it won't pick it up brilliantly on this little phone, but this sounds just as you would like a strat type guitar to sound. The neck's lovely, warm, two and four, I've got the bit of jingle jangle going on. Um,
go. There we go, in true rich amateur novice guitarist style. <laughs> a little playthrough, but very pretty. I've had one before in the mocha kind of colour. I like this one more, it looks prettier. It's not overly heavy. The neck is super, super lovely. Decent specs for your money. Uh, for anyone who's thinking about a Chapman, of the several that I've had of late, I would urge you to give one a try. Now, once someone asked me just recently, and this gets asked a, a few times, doesn't it? I don't know, yeah, Rob Chapman, who's he? Well, I don't like him, or he's a bit arrogant, or he's this, or he's that. Well, the thing is for me with that, it's nothing to do with Rob Chapman, really. And, and the reason I say that is when you buy a Fender, do you know the CEO of Fender? Do you see him on YouTube saying stuff? Do you like him? I mean, Fender got sued, didn't they, not that long ago for price fixing. I think Gibson did too. Do you know the guy who runs, you know, what do you think of Paul Reed Smith? Do you like him? What's what's his private life all about? What about the the, the, the top dude at Harley Benton? What's he like? You know, it's just, just because Rob puts himself that out there in social media, everyone's got thinks, you know, they've got an opinion of him. Um, I'm sure there are plenty of people in guitar companies in high positions who are really not very nice people. So it shouldn't really, I don't think, be about do you like whoever owns the guitar company or not? And of course, Lee Anderson owns half of it anyway. So do you like Lee? So yeah, as it turns out, I like Rob. Uh, I think he's a, yeah, he's a bit full of himself, but all successful people are, or a lot of them. Anyway, stop waffling, Rich. Check out a Chapman. <laughs>